Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Guys, we are pushing to 3,000 subscribers. If you're watching, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for all the support. So the Miami Heat, they're in big trouble, man. They're seventh in the Eastern Conference. They're 24-21. and 21. They are on a six-game losing streak. Let me know what you guys think. What are the problems that the Miami Heat are facing right now? Right in the comment section. Let me know. Why do you think they can't win? Why do you think they're terrible on defense? Let me know. Do you guys think that Tyler, Jimmy, and Bam work together as a trio? Because these are all questions that we really need to ask this Miami Heat team, and we need to solve them quickly. Because I'm telling you right now, the agendas that everyone's trying to push, it's not just Kyle Lowry. It's not just Tyler Hero. This is a team thing. Okay, this Miami Heat team, they lack size. They lack rebounding. And they lack athleticism. They lack talent. And the talent thing is huge. They've lacked talent since 2020. They've really put a poor roster around Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler. Now, are all three of the main guys supposed to step up? Yes. I think that Tyler Hero, even though he's had a few bright moments, he really hasn't been that good to me this year, especially when his defense is going to be this bad. If your defense is this bad, you better be scoring at an efficient rate and a good rate, in my opinion. I think Bam and Abayo has been good. I know a lot of people say, well, we don't cook Bam enough. I understand that, but Bam has to do a lot. A lot more than just scoring. He's rebounding. He's guarding one through five. He's setting guys up. He's setting picks. He's catching lobs. Like, think about it. We really don't even have a power forward next to Bam out of bio. I understand it's Haywood Heismith. I understand it's Caleb Martin. But those guys are undersized, which means that Bam out of bio is going to have to do a lot more work. He has a huge workload with pretty much carrying the defense. So I understand when people want to cook Bam, but you got to give him that pass. You got to give him that leeway because... He has a lot on his plate. Now, the Miami Heat, they're going to be playing the Suns, the Kings, the Wizards, and the Clippers coming up next. Once again, this is not going to be easy, especially with the Suns and the Kings. Those are two great teams that are well coached with a lot of talent. This Miami Heat team, they need to get it together because before you know it, they're going to be in the 10th spot. Losing six games in a row is unacceptable. And I wonder what they're really saying to each other in the locker room. Because the vibes look off. Yes, some of it was Kyle Lowry's fault, but not all of it. The vibes are off. The chemistry's off. The defense falls off throughout the game. They lack the offensive firepower throughout a whole 48 minutes to be consistent enough to keep up with other teams. So what I mean by that is all the other teams in the NBA, when they play us, they have more offensive firepower than us. They score easier. They're able to get to the rim. And then, of course, when you're down by 10 and 15 at halftime, 10 or 15 in the third or fourth quarter, you're not going to win the game because off of momentum, the home team or whoever they're playing is going to just whoop them out of the gym. But please, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What is wrong with this Miami Heat team? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.